Hey guys, it's True with Guns America's Hunt 365, and today we have a really interesting product to show you. I'm actually with the product inventor, his name is Zach, and I'm gonna tell you about him in just a second. But guys, before we go any further, will you please like, share, subscribe? We really appreciate your support on the channel. Uh, this product that we're gonna show you today actually allows you to put a very small item on your phone. It's unobtrusive, it's not large, and it allows you to quickly just snap it on to a spotting scope, a binocular. Um, Zach's got a PVS-14 in his hand. It would allow you to just connect your phone camera or video to any one of these items. It's small, it's lightweight. Zach, uh, I need to tell you about him. He, uh, he was a combat controller in the Air Force. Yep. He just got out. Is that, is that correct? Uh, yeah, I was active duty for about seven years, and I'm in the National Guard now. Okay, so you're not completely out yet. Not out all the way. But you're going to school right now. Yep. And uh, what are you studying? Mechanical engineering over at uh, BSU. Okay, so this is a product that he has come up with. He designed it, he engineered it. It's pretty ingenious, and it basically, will, he has something that will fit just about any optic. So we have a whole bunch of optics here. We've got a Leopold Mark IV spotter. We've got a SIG. A big 85 millimeter spotting scope here. We've got uh, Leica binoculars. We've got a Kawa, a Kawa uh, spotting scope, some Sig binos. Like I said, a PVS-14 night vision. It really doesn't matter what brand you have. He has something that will work. So we're going to actually, um, I want to tell you guys, I guess, first of all, there's a few other products out there, like this phone scope's one of them. They don't use a magnet. Theirs is more of like you get a case and you have to get a bunch of adapters. I've used them before and I think this is better. I mean, phone scope's great. I think this is better. There's a company called MagView that has a magnet version and it's quite large and I think it's quite expensive for what it is. And it doesn't align your camera with this. You actually have to like come up here and roll it around to get it to line up. And so I, I think that that's kind of, for me, a deal breaker. Plus it's like 160 bucks. Yep. And I think there's another company called Olin that makes something magnetic and um, you have to actually buy their case. Very limited on which optics it will fit. So in my opinion, for the money, best bang for your buck is this product that Zach's making. It's called the On Glass Adapter. Adapter. Yep. Okay. So Zach, will you just quickly run us through what it is, what you get when you buy one, and sort of how it works? Yeah. So our On Glass Adapter system comes with uh, three pieces when you order it. So you're going to have, uh, first off, you're going to have the adapter ring, and then you're going to have a spacer. This spacer. We have nine different sizes, so you don't have to buy a spacer for every single optic that you have. It has a range about a, about a tenth of an inch in range, so if you have two similar sized optics, it'll fit both of them. So it's based on the way that he engineered this, that, that it does that, so it actually uh, expands and contracts on eyepieces. Yep. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah, so it has some fingers in here that have spring tension, so essentially, um, as long as it's in the range of that certain spacer, it's gonna it'll, work. it'll work. Okay, yeah. so there's nine of them, so you're definitely gonna have something that fits what you're looking for. So that just goes right on. This other one goes over the top of that. Yep, so they go together, the spacer goes inside the adapter ring, and then you just slide that right on your optic. It's your choice if you wanna leave it on or um, take it on and off as you please, either way okay. works. And then the last piece is just gonna be that simple piece on the back of your phone. That's the Mac, uh, mounting plate with the magnet and so then those just magnet right up and and sit on the optic ah, so it literally just lines instantly there's so yep. guys there's magnets right here on this green piece and it just so. when they're on it is just right there and you can see looking right through the spotting scope and we're not in focus but yeah okay so that's not what, what kind of phone do you have there so this is a pixel 6 pro okay and I actually have an, 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 a Samsung S22, which is a really large phone. We don't have the adapter plate on here yet. So Zach is gonna show us, he has a very ingenious way of lining this up with the camera. It's actually uh, like a 3D printed adapter. Yep. And we're gonna actually gonna use, what, our 1X camera today? Yeah. Okay, so you could use 1X or 3X here, but 1X, so let, why don't you just show these guys, I'll hold this PVS-14, show them real quick and kind of hold it so the camera can see what you've got in your hand. Yeah, so um, this is gonna be the mounting plate with the alignment tool. So the alignment tool is gonna have two holes. If you have a phone with a camera that's in the upper left corner like this, you're gonna wanna use alignment hole one. And then if it's in the center, you'll use alignment hole two. But okay, that's easy. Super simple. You just gotta peel the, uh, peel the backer off. 
And look guys, if you got an alcohol wipe and your phone's greasy, like clean that off so that you, you know, it sticks better. Yeah, you wanna clean it just to make sure it sticks and, and, and lasts a long time. But we, we already determined that this is the lens we wanna to align to. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take that, that whole one, you're gonna align it, make sure it's centered and squared up. And then you just stick it down just like that. And so once it's stuck, make sure it's on there good. And then you just break this alignment tab off and that's all that's left. So the alignment tab is actually connected to this mounting plate, yep. allows you to align it. And then this is just permanently on here. Yep. It goes on a case or directly on your phone. Obviously you could have a case just for hunting, leave it on there. But guys, this thing is like, what is that? Like a 16th of an inch? Uh, yeah, eighth, it, about an eighth it's of an about inch. an eighth of an inch. Okay, yeah. so that's all it adds to your whole phone. And now this phone, you can literally just turn on the camera and um, get the camera up here so you guys can see the camera. So we are just gonna come right up here and I'm gonna just come right in and would you look at that? Oh. So just that simple, I turned the camera on, you guys saw us mounted on there, there's no cuts and, and we're, we have a full field of view here and we can go all the way into 2.9 at least on this and I went too far right there and we have a full like view of what we're looking at through this spotter. We could take it and pop it off and come right down here to these Leica GeoVids, pop right into one and do the exact same thing and we're looking right through that. We haven't focused any of this and I keep moving the lens but yeah we're looking through this uh, we've got this uh, spotter from sig right here we're gonna just hook on right here and I don't know what we're set at but we're looking off into the sky somewhere we got quite a sky behind us there we go so as you can see we're just right there and you can fine-tune this alignment and we didn't even focus the scope so I don't know what this is even looking at but oh there we go, now we're focused. So as you can see though, it's really fast, really easy to just swap things around. Um, we can even hook it up to this PVS-14. Which one of these did you say? Uh, it's gonna be this one right here. Okay, so this doesn't have the outer spacer around it. Correct. So we can just steal one from one of these. Yep, so you just twist this off, snap those together, twist. And actually it's getting dark for us real quick. Yeah. Maybe we can actually show this. All right, so we're gonna stick that on like that. I'm gonna turn this PBS 14 on and leave the end cap on. Um, and I don't know what you can see, but you should be able to see a green screen right there and be able to look out. Uh, we're looking through a PBS 14. So if it was dark right now, I could absolutely film through my phone on this PBS 14, so really cool. So guys, that's the features, that's how it works. Zach's the engineer, he's the one that designed it. Uh, it is, um, tell them your website. Yeah, so onglassadapter.com, uh, currently for sale. Uh, price is 85 bucks for a full kit. And then if you want to add a spacer, it'll be another 40 bucks. And, and then- This is the spacer, it's yep. what you need to just go to a different optic. Yep, different size. and then uh, unlike some of the other ones out there, if you ever get a new phone or need a new case, you just got to pay 15 bucks for a new uh, uh, mounting plate. And that's it, you don't have to pay, you know, 80 bucks for a whole new case. So it's not case specific. Correct. It's this right here and it's 15 bucks. Yep. Okay, so you just need another one of these and you can stick it on a different phone. Yep. Or if you're buddy and you guys hunt together and you both have a spotting scope you share, both of you should have one of these on your phone. All you need is this one of these to have your buddy be able to hook his up to your spotting scope. Yep, that's it. Okay, website one more time. Onglassadapter.com. Okay, Zach, we appreciate you coming out and checking yeah. it out, telling us about this. Thank guys, uh, please like, sub subscribe, share, go check out Zach's website. Uh, he served for us in our country and this is a really, I think the best magnetic phone adapter that's out right now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time here at Guns America's Hunt 365.